Hi there, I'm Black Bright. First time you're passing through, you're welcome to click on the subscribe button, the like button, and I really, really do hope you'll share this video. It's really important. Um, I do tend to talk about a different, lots of different subjects, but when it comes to deportation and when it's targeting Jamaicans only, it is, I have to get the word out. So I'm not going to say much. Well, I might say a little bit afterwards, but I just want you to listen to Mad Rush MC. He was um, a victim, in quotes, of that mass deportation that was planned in February last year. A year later, on the 15th of February, they've got a charter flight going out to Jamaica. And what he's doing is warning people about it. Now, we all know that the last, when they did it last year, it was targeting the Windrush generation. And a lot of people were deported illegally. We didn't even know they were being deported. I think um, one plane got stopped because of protests. And so not everybody, they didn't get out as many as they wanted to. But nevertheless, they did deport quite a few. There's been deaths because of the deportation. People have not been compensated for illegal deportation. And so it, it goes on and on and on. Now people have been thinking that, okay, it's water under the bridge. They made this big hoo-ha about Windrush. We're safe because they've got all of these things going on. But oh no, because when you think they're targeting Jamaicans, they are still the extended Windrush family. They are the grandchildren, the great grandchildren, the people who they're shipping off, who have been here for 42 years. They are the grandchildren, the great grandchildren of the Windrush generation. And they're talking about deporting them. Anyway, I did say I wasn't going to say anything, but you know me and my mouth. Jibby jibby jib. So I'm going to let Mad Rush MC tell you his story. I'm sorry about the um, lack of sophistication in the way I do my videos. I'm a simple person. I haven't got all the fandangles and the bells and all that stuff. I just try to do as much as I can by myself. So that being said, here we go. Yes, 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 people. Listen, good morning, good afternoon to everyone. Um, it's me, the Mad Rush MC. Just giving, just making sure everyone's set, everyone's cool. Um, right, so I've got to give you all a bit of an update. Um, obviously, everybody knows that I'm putting out a warning, putting out the word for once again this year now, well, from the 15th of February, um, Home Office. Uh, planning a mass deportation, immigration removal of many Jamaicans, once again set for a charter flight on the 15th of February onwards. Um, so I've got to put the awareness out there, you know what I'm saying? Because this time last year, the same thing happened to me. You know what I mean? Lucky today, um, I've been to report, everything's cool at reporting. But the process is, what they'll do is like next week now, uh, my reporting centre's closed. And what they're doing on that day, they say it's a training day, so I've got to make people aware of this, yeah? You know what I mean? If they say that your reporting centre is closed, what they are doing, it's not a training day. What they're doing is basically gathering to pinpoint who and who they want to remove, who and who's on their hot list for removal, yeah? So I need to put this word, get this word out here, out there to everybody. Everyone who's watching this stream, like it, share it. We need to spread the word. We need to stop all these chartered flight business because chartered flight is no joke. What happens is that they grab you, they put you in detention, they can hold you up to three months, and then any time after that, they can just stick you on a flight accompanied by security personnel um, um, and then met in a different country by police and all that and armies and all them things. There. It's not good, man. You know what I mean? Detention centers need to be closed, yeah? Detention centres closed, mass deportation, stop it, man. It needs to be stopped because they're just removing people from their families, um, friends, children, you know what I mean? Just ripping people apart, especially them who have already done their time for their crimes, done their rehabilitation, what's been asked of them, and especially many of them who have been in the country, like myself, who's been in the country for 42 years, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still awaiting on an update of my case, still awaiting, but I still got to keep the awareness out there, yeah? So... 
Once again, there is a chartered flight set for Jamaica on the 15th of February. Yeah, onwards, you know what I mean? So what they're going to do is basically gather people from all around, from reporting centres around the UK, um, from their homes, you know what I mean? Um, and even out of prisons, you know what I'm saying, which is wrong because at the end of the day, they shouldn't be removing anyone from prison and deporting them unless they've done their sentence and had a fair had a fair trial, a fair, a fair, just a fair hearing, you know what I mean? So I'm just making anyone who's you know got an ongoing case or you don't know what to do listen make sure you got these things in place yeah make sure you speak to your lawyer to make sure all your papers are in check yeah make sure that's in check um you know like if you go into reporting make sure you're dead vigilant with it that you're aware make sure you just got everything in place you know what i mean and if you haven't got anything in place get it in place, get a lawyer, you know what I'm saying, get it all sorted, get your paperwork sorted, you know what I mean, because they're not messing about, when they grab you, they grab you, yeah, and they and people won't even know that you've been put in a detention or whatever, like I did last year, you know what I mean, and I was lucky, one of the lucky ones who managed to speak out for many of the people then, yeah, you know what I mean, but I'll still keep the awareness up for everybody out there, yeah, so listen, like I said, if you're reporting on a weekly basis and they say to you, um, that they're closed for a day, yeah, what they're doing, it's not a training day, what they are doing is basically gathering up a list, making a hot list for who and who they want to grab and who and who they want to remove, you know what I mean, but the good thing about this year, considering for last year, is that man is aware of it and man's got an update, so I'm keeping it out there to the people out there, yeah, like I said, chartered flight, another chartered flight, man, you know what I mean, set for removal on the 15th of February, yeah, so that means they're going to be gathering people all around the UK from reporting centres, from homes, from prisons, yeah, up and pro probably up until the 12th or whatever, but they're going to keep on doing it, because it's like I said, it's this thing what the government home office have got in place, government have got this thing, they've got to do a back mass deportation removal thing, removing people from all over, you know what I mean, everyone thinks it's cool, everyone thinks it's calm, trust me, it's not calm, you know what I mean, when you just get picked up, removed from a place that you've been all your life and you're settled and, you, and, and, and you've worked all your life, you've done everything proper, you know what I'm saying, and I think if you get in trouble, you do your time for your crime, you deserve a second chance like anybody else out there, you know what I mean? But listen, V's up, bless up, big love to everybody. Remember what I said, like this, share it, we need to keep this up. 15th of February, there's a massive... Yeah, so 15th, so I am... Uh, so I am um, spreading the word, but yeah, it is... It's not good when you um, think that everything is cool, but you know they you, they've had a year to perfect what they're going to do on the fifteenth. I don't know how he got to know, but when you think about America, America's been telling people, oh, you know, we're going to do this mass deportation on such and such a day. The UK doesn't do that. The UK is is all kind of stealth, and you you don't know what they're doing. So when you're when they're doing what they that's why they, if you, I don't know if you've ever watched those um, programs where the police monitor people. When they're monitoring people, they are watching them for years. You know, they're watching every move, so that by the time they get them, those people don't have a chance because they've got everything on camera. So what I'm saying is, from last year to this year. They've been doing all their biometrics. They've been doing all their stop and search. They've been doing their Section 60s. They've been having Operation Nexus. They've been having Operation Trident. And they've been, they're going to amalgamate all that information. All those people who have been waiting on their passports and they haven't got it through yet. All of those people, they've got their addresses. They've got everything. Who knows who they're going to pounce on? We don't know. So he's given us a heads up, and I think it'll probably be exactly a year, um, probably to the day to last year. So I don't know if there'll be more protests about it. I don't know if they can stop them. I don't know how the information got leaked, but I'm sure they won't be happy that it got leaked. So we don't know, but I think it's really, really sad. So... Um, like he said, you know, when they're separating families and people have been here like he's been here for 42 years. 
You know, what does he know about Jamaica? And you know how many people died, have died since they've been deported because they came over here when they were kids. And then for whatever reason, because they don't have paperwork, they're bumped on a plane and deported. You know, black people aren't like white people, you know. We don't go to Spain every bloody summer. We don't go on vacations. We spend money differently. You know, white people, it's natural for them. They go on a holiday every year, usually, sometimes twice a year. Black people don't do that. You know, you get the little bossy one there, and they say, boy, I'm going to Jamaica, I'm going to there two times for the year. But that's not the norm. And you'll normally find that's the younger people. But... Our parents and our grandparents, they weren't travelling around. They weren't, they weren't going to Spain and all those places. And it's not because they didn't want the knowledge and they didn't want the experience. It's because it wasn't a priority. And now they're being penalised for that culture because they didn't get passports. And the, people, the white people who believe that it's normal to have a passport it's normal for people to travel they see people who haven't traveled or people without passports as though there's something sinister about it i don't know how my mum my mum for the grace of god there go i because with my mum she happened to um, meet up with some friends and they said they were going to spain she'd been in the country ah oh, goodness knows how long but I know she'd been there about 40 odd years and she'd never flown anywhere. And then a friend, some friends of her asked her for, um, said, oh, let's go to Spain. If it wasn't for them and it's before all this hostile environment stuff and she managed to get her passport because, I mean, she, had, she was probably fortunate. She probably had her paperwork or whatever. So she got her paperwork, but there'll be a lot of people who do, don't travel. Their travel is going to their friends in Birmingham or Manchester or Leeds or Northampton, where their, where their um, nuclear family is. You know, it's not important for them to go and look on Spain and Italy and Tenerife and Egypt. They're not interested in that. And if the only proof you have is a passport, you're screwed. Anyway, big up Mad Rush for that um, notice, you know, upfront notice. Um, I just wanted to make sure there was um, nothing else I wanted to say. And I don't think I is. I mean, he said it all, to be honest. I'm not going to go and regurgitate what he said. There's no point. So you get the word out. Please share the video to all your, your peeps legit not legit you don't know who they're taking out like he said you know even prisoners they're taking prisoners out of the prison and putting them on deportation flights before they even finish their sentence so they people and they've got them held captive these people can't even do anything they can't even get a lawyer they're sitting there thinking okay i'm gonna come out and go on to my wife or my kids no way, straight on the plane. And they're probably, they're probably doing that to people who have done more than four years because those ones um, are eligible for deportation. So those are the ones that are probably the ones that they're ch putting on that charter flight. I can't imagine that anybody who's on a one-year um, sentence, that they would do that because that would be totally against the law, totally inappropriate and totally illegal. But there again... We see illegal de deportations all the time. Anyway, I said I'm not going to talk too much. So that's it. Take care now. Don't forget to share it. Bye bye.